Shubhodaya. Yeah. Today is, uh, it's, uh, for many people, today is uh, Upakarma. It's, uh, some have Upakarmas on different days. And for uh, f quite a few people, Upakarma, today is Upakarma. And Upakarma, that the meaning of that one, Upakarma, Upakarma means uh, it's uh, whatever I learnt thus far, this year, I give up everything. And I give up whatever I learnt, I give up. Utsrajana, Utsrajana means give up. I give up whatever I learnt and from now on, I will learn in a different way, in a new dimension. It's a Upakarma that uh, whatever I acquired, knowledge I acquired last last year, since last year, the last Upakarma to this year, I, I will do Utsrajana. Utsra I will give up everything and I will try to relearn that one. It's a same thing, same thing that uh, it's not a, it's a new dimension. It's a, knowledge is fathomless. It's a traditionally, it's a, that Veda text, text is the same. When the first hand student learns the same and PhD student also learns the same text. They start learning in a different dimension. As they go deeper, go deeper, they start learning from a different direction, dimensions. The, when the knowledge, when we start learning the, from different di dimensions, when the new meanings gets revealed, supreme joy dawns in. That uh, I'm not satisfied with my learning. I want to learn deeper. And many people, they say, this is what my teacher has taught. This is what my Acharya has taught. I don't want to learn anything more. That is, we are putting a fence around ourselves. A serious student, those who have thirst and hunger for the knowledge, it's, uh, they are not satisfied with the, uh, they are not putting a boundary. This is what my family tradition, that's all I do. That when the thirst of knowledge dawns in, they are seeking for a new dimension, new meaning. They start contemplating on a deeper meaning. And the meaning of uh, Upakarma, Upakarma means uh, Utsrarjana, that uh, I give up whatever I learnt this year. From today on, I start learning in a deeper meaning. And outward symbol, outward symbol is uh, this, uh, sacred thread. This is an only out, out, outward symbol. And in the sacred thread, that uh, three threads are there, three threads, it's uh, representing one is uh, Rigveda, Yajurveda, and Samaveda. They are tied together. It's one knot. Knot is called as, uh, this is called as Brahma knot. This is Brahma knot. That's uh, my attempt. That's, uh, it's a meaning of this one. The essence of Rigveda, Yajurveda, or Samaveda is the Brahma. The Supreme is the essence of that one. I will try to, with my full effort, full attempt, that I will try to learn about this Supreme Brahma, what is contained in the Vedas. Now that, that spirit is lost, that uh, spirit of uh, learning Vedas, Upanishads is lost, that outward symbol, we only wear this one. And we, we don't know why we are changing, why you are wearing this uh, thread. And uh, many people gave up this one. Why outward, the symbol also, they gave up that one also. No, it's an inner meaning, no outer, outward meaning also. This upakarma, meaning of the, that one, Usrajana. My effort, with utmost effort, I will try to learn about the, the essence of Upanishads, essence of Vedas, that is the Brahma. Brahma is the essence, the Supreme Lord is the essence. I will do my utmost effort to learn about that one. That is the significance of Upakarma. Upakarma is uh, uh, today. Uh, and, uh, it's, uh, uh, in the Patanjali Yoga Sutra says, uh, how I do, Tatra, Tatra Sthito, Yatna Bhyasaha, Tatra Sthito, Yatna Bhyasaha, with utmost effort. Again, it's a, with a great effort, I will try to learn about that Supreme. It is not easy, that uh, it's a difficult task. Yes, but I don't give up halfway through. I will do my utmost effort. I will learn with the utmost effort. I will tatra sthito yatno abhyasaha. That uh, with the utmost effort, I will learn that one. And tada drashto sorupe avasthanam. Well, uh, to learn about that one, why I have to do? Tadadrishtu Sarupe Avasthanam to acquire the permanent home. 
that to acquire the permanent home. That other day somebody was saying that uh, they are involved with uh, feeding the homeless people. But uh, the Upanishad says we are all homeless. We are in a temporary body. We will be evicted without notice one day. Without notice. We, have, we can't claim that this is my home. Without notice, we will be kicked out of this home. That uh, we are uh, moving from one shelter to another shelter, we kicked out. That it says, seek the permanent house, moksha, seek the moksha, where no more eviction happens. Tatrasthito etno abhyasaha. It's a tada drishto sarupe avasthanam. To acquire the, the permanent home with the utmost effort, we had to do the sadhana. That, uh, and uh, Patanjali further says that uh, those who are pra practicing this one, wh what are the it's a, the, how to do this practice, that utmost effort. He says, Satu dhirga kala nairantara satkaro drida sevita satkaro sevita drida bhumihi. It's a, it says, it's a drida bhumihi, that uh, it is not a one month course, one year course, a ten year course. It's a lifelong commitment, lives to come. Dhirga kala. Dirga Kala, Nairantara, no break, no intermission, no term break, no winter break, no summer break. It's an, with an, uh, to, there's a, when the hunger happens, when the thirst for the higher knowledge comes, there is no break happens. That uh, Dirga Kala, Nairantara, Nirantara, satu, Satkara Sevita, as an offering to seek the highest in a Dhrida Bhumihi, on a firm foundation. Learn first that with an acquire the knowledge, proper knowledge, acquire with the full conviction, be convinced, not out of compulsion from others. Acquire the Drida Bhumihi, have conviction <coughs> with a full conviction as a service to the Supreme Lord. To acquire the Supreme Lord, do the sadhana. Satu Dirga Kala, Nairantara, Satkara Sevito, Drida Bhumihi. When we do that one with an attempt, that is the, the it's a, success comes to those people that uh, those who are sincere uh, sincere in their practice success comes to, comes to those people and patanjali in uh, bhagavad gita bhagavad gita it uh, talks about we have been learning the 12th chapter of bhagavad gita it says uh, concluding chapter of uh, the concluding shloka of the 11th chapter in vishwarupa darshana it's uh, in that uh, in the tenth chapter, tenth chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna says, "I am there. That uh, in water, I am there. In Ganga, I am there. That in uh, in Vyasa, that uh, I, I, I am there. In the in the knowledge, in the mountain, I am there. In the fire, I am there. In Narada, I am there." He says, "One same principle is there in everything." And in the twelfth, in the eleventh chapter in Vishwarupa Darshana, he says that I am in each and every one, and same thing, everyone is in me. That in a cosmic form, he shows that one. And in the eleventh chapter, concluding, Sri Krishna says, with your own effort, that uh, with my own money, with my own effort, with my power, with the doing the havans, and to learning about Vedas, Upanishads, and uh, to doing the charities, you, if you think you can acquire, you can't learn this one. Bhaktiya stu anyaya shakya aham evam vidhor juna. It's uh, through devotion alone we can I can acquire this one. It's uh, without devotion you can't acquire that one. And uh, it talks about what is a devotee. Devotee is the, not the one who does just kirtans, they do only the bhajans. He says it's a mat karma krit mat paramo mat bhakta sangha varjitaha. What devotee is the one who does all the actions. There is no, he's no escaping, does all the actions ordained to him or her with the, as an offering to the Supreme Lord without any attachment, without any expecting the reward and without any animosity, hatred towards anyone, loving everyone, that does that one. That type of devotee is supreme to me. And uh, when the Sri Krishna uh, concluded that, that one and Arjuna asked that one, now I am convinced that uh, bhakti is the means to at attain you that should I do the devotion to the directly to you alone or through other de devatas through other uh, 
if I go to the temple, there is a Shiva is there, Ganapati is there, Subramanya is there, Navagraha is there, and I'm confused. Should I worship through those people? Through, uh, through other divine beings, should I worship? Or should I worship me, you alone? And Sri Krishna says, uh, worshipping me alone is the highest, is the best means and the safest means. If you worship me as through other divine beings, worship me through them, that is also good. If you think I am worshipping the, that deity, this deity, it is a dhurena avaram, it is a low, inferior form of devotion. It's a, if you are worshipping the Lord through Shiva, that uh, it's all, uh, worship the Supreme through Shiva, worship Supreme through Ganapati, worship Supreme through Devi, worship uh, Supreme through Navagraha, worship uh, Supreme through Hanuman. That is the, it's the best means. If you think it's a, I am worshipping only Shiva is the great or Ganapati is the great. It's a, if I go to church, that, that is a, it's a Jesus is the great. It's a, if you see that one, it's an inferior form of worship. It says, Vevasa yatmika buddhi ekeha kurunandana bahushaka hi anantascha buddhi yor avyavasa inam vevasa yatmika buddhi. That one, that uh, the people who contemplate, who have seen the Supreme, they see the only one principle everywhere. That one who has, uh, it's an uh, inferior, in a still, still childish, they see everything different. The, the, you worship here, worship here, worship here, worship. It's a, a, a mature people worship differently, but mature. That that those who realize the supreme, they always they all talk about the same thing. The supreme is the one expressed through various things, like electricity is the one. It expresses through the heater, it expresses through the air conditioner, or through the refrigerator. Same electrical electric. Principle is electricity is the one, it expresses through same thing. Lord is the one, worship the Supreme Lord. It expresses through everything. That, uh, you, that is the Vivasa Yatmika Buddhi Ekeha Kurunandana. Shri Krishna in the second chapter, he says that one, that those who realize that one, they always talk about this one, that those who are immature, that inferior form of uh, its uh, devotion is worship differently. That, that's the message of 12th chapter. And 12th chapter, towards the end, he says, I may claim that I'm a devotee. I'm a great devotee, I claim, claim. But Lord says, you may claim you are a devotee, but the devotee devo dear to me. What type of devotee is dear to me? He talks about that one in the 12th chapter. We'll, we started off this one. With, uh, in the 11th chapter, in the 54th shloka, it's a very motivational shloka. We'll, uh, Learn about that one. Repeat after me. Bhaktiya Svanyaya Shakya Aham Yevam Vidhur Juna Nyatum Drashtum Chatatvena Praveshtum Cha Parantapa Matkarma Krit Matparamo Madhbhakta Sangha Varjitaha Nirvairva Sarva Bhuteshu Yasa Mameti Pandava Arjuna Vacha Evam Satata Yukta Ye Bhakta Stvam Pariyupasate Echa Pyakshara Mavyaktam Tesham Ke Yoga Vittama Shri Bhagavan Vacha Maya Veshyamano Yemam Nitya Yukta Upasate Shraddhaya Parayopeta Teme Yukta Tamamata Etyakshara Anirdeshyam Avyaktam Pariyupasate Sarvatra Gama Achintyancha Kutastam Achalam Dhruvam 
ಸನ್ನಿಯಂದ್ರಿಯಗ್ರಾಮ ಸಮಬುಧಯುವಂತ ಕ್ಲೇಶೋಧಿಕೇಶಿಕ್ತೇಹವದ್ವಿರವಾಪ್ಯ